Hi Year 10s, we're still working on our algebra. Today we're going to do something called equating coefficients. It's a really fancy way of saying expand these brackets and then say what all the different letters could be. So this is the example from the PowerPoint that I put up. It is example 4, it's slide 7. It says find the values of a and b such that x plus 2 times by x plus a is equal to bx squared plus 10x plus 16. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to expand out these two brackets here doing like we did all the time. We're going to do the x times by the x and the x times by the a and the 2 times by the x and the 2 times by a. So let's try that out. So x times x is going to give us x squared. x times by a is going to give us ax x times by 2 is going to give us 2x, and 2 times by a is going to give us 2a. Now it says that that is going to be exactly the same as bx squared plus 10x plus 16. Now coefficient is really just a fancy word for saying what is in front of the letter x or the letter x squared or something like that. So hopefully you can see we've got this bracket over here that's been expanded out. And then all I did here is just copy this right back down. So I can tell you from here that this is the only x squared I have on the left hand side of the equal sign. And this is the only x squared I have on the right hand side of the equal sign. So these two things have to be equal to each other. So that means that whatever's in front of this x squared has to be the same that's in front of this x squared. Well, in front of this x squared is a very invisible 1. So from that, I can tell that 1 must be equal to b, because these two things here have to be exactly the same. Similarly, this is the only term on the left-hand side that doesn't have an x in it. So this term here has to be the same as this term over here, because this is also the only term that doesn't have an x in it. So these two things are going to be equal to each other. So from that I can say that 2a is going to be equal to 16. Well, if 2 times by a is equal to 16, I can do divide by 2 on this side, and divide by 2 on this side, and a is equal to 8. There you have it. We found the values. b is 1, and a is 8. Okay, let's try another example together. I'll do it in another video, though. 